What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Natalie, and this is my channel, Music to Makeup. My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. So today's video, all right, let me give you a quick, quick backstory. So I watched this YouTube video the other day and it was basically supposed to be like a real life in person dating app, like dating a dating app in real life. Basically there was one guy and 30 women and they all got in a line and he either said to the left, to the left, to the left, sorry, for no, like Tinder or write for yes. Watching this video, I already knew that Tinder was made specific. It's more beneficial to men for many reasons, which I will talk about in the video. But I was just like, oh really? That's a dating app in real life? Maybe for a man. So I wanted to shed some light on what a dating app in real life is like for a woman. I am going to go on my Tinder account and we are gonna see how many matches I get out of 30. So he, I think the first round he ended up picking like 13 and then he had to narrow it down and there were six potential matches. 13 out of 30 first, and then six potential matches, so six out of 30 potential matches. My statistics are a lot lower, and you will see that later. I'm gonna say, I'm, all right, let me make a prediction. I'm gonna say one or two potential matches out of 30. <laughs> if you <laughs> are interested in, in seeing what Tinder is like in real life for women and why it's so much harder for us to find someone compatible online. If you would like to know those things, keep on watching. And please let me know if you do like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel so you can get more wonderful videos like this one and hitting the notification bell as well so you know every time I upload a new video. So let's get right into it. And if they don't have a profession listed, I most likely will swipe left. But here's my next rule. If they do not have anything written in their profile about themselves, what they're looking for, anything, then it's an automatic no. If they're not willing to put the effort to write a few sentences about who they are what they're looking for, their hobbies, anything, then I highly doubt they are going to put in the effort, the same effort in dating as I would. So that's an automatic no for me. The next couple of rules I am probably going to see examples of in my Tinder account. So I will talk about them when I come across them because I come across them often. <sighs> so here we go. Okay, here is the first one. Doesn't matter what he looks like because he has no profession and no profile. So no. So no profession. He's not my type anyways, but no profession and here is his profile. Balling is a my favorite sport. So number one, he can't speak proper English. And then it says, your new plug. So my conclusion is that he is a drug dealer or only looking for sex. So no, no. You Kimmy? And no profile. Men, you need a profile. There was a guy that I worked with and he, you know, was on all the sites, Tinder, Bumble, 
and he kept meeting like these crazy needy you know women and I'm like let me help you out let me see your tinder profile and he didn't have anything written I was like you have to write something like of course you're attracting the wrong women because you're not telling them what you're looking for he was like well I just figured that if they wanted to know something they can ask and I was like no you gotta write something so no okay wait we gotta keep track so this is number three all right Number four, definitely not attracted to, and has no profession or profile. No profession or profile. Well, <clears throat> okay, he doesn't have a profession, but he does have something in his profile. Live in Tampa, love going to the gym, beach, concerts, and being outside. Okay. Let me show you his picture. I can see from his picture that he is most likely a firefighter. So we're both in the helping profession. And he's really cute. So I'm going to say yes to him. No. Okay, so... I'm going to mention. Yeah, that was number four. All right, number five. VP Logistics Company. But he doesn't have anything written. And it's 350 miles away but I just wish you would have written something. So that was five, here's number six. All right, attorney, okay. Spirit, animal, and cookie monster. <laughs> On a mission to change the world and see the world. Self-described hood nerd. <laughs> like that's how I would describe myself too, like hood nerd. Like I'm a nerd, but I can be hood too. There, yeah, that kind of helps. <clears throat> Self-dressed up. There's a lot you can tell from someone's profile picture. And that kind of has to do with the rules, the rest of my rules, which I'm sure I'm gonna find an example, so don't you worry. All right, I'm gonna say yes to him. Oh, it's a match. All right, so one potential match so far out of six. Okay, here's number seven. No occupation and no profile. Next, <laughs> here is one of my rules. Okay, you see this picture here? It is very, very, very grainy. I don't know if you can tell. I learned the hard way that if someone has an extremely grainy photograph, okay. We are in the time of smartphones, where smartphones take amazing quality pictures and videos. There is no way that a recent picture of you would have that much graininess to it. I had matched with someone and like I really, like we were talking, everything was good and we met and he looked nothing like his picture. And I went back and I was like, damn it, it was grainy. I should have known. So, nope, bye. He like honestly looks like or er, Charles Manson. Right? Bye, Felicia. Okay, this one, let's see. No occupation or profile. Oh wait, what number am I on? Shit. I think I'm on like nine. Let's go with that. So this will be 10. Damn, you're really cute. Why don't you have any? He has chat with me and find out as his profile, but no occupation, nothing else. Super cute though. See, this is why Tinder is not good. Hot men make, we make poor decisions. So this is 11. Okay, here's kind of an example of what I'm talking about but this guy has one picture well I think he has like two of himself hold on the rest are pictures of he's in this one but you can't see yeah I've, I've been on vacation too thanks buddy that's it I can't mm -mm. Okay, US Army let's see 
on leave from Fort Drum, New York, home for the holidays. Well, won't be there until December 22nd, leaving to come back. So he's only going to be in town for a couple of weeks. What do you think he's looking for? A long-term relationship to get married? And <laughs> next. So number 12. Why would you put this as your profile picture? Like honestly, button up and slacks kind of guy. Never, never married, no kids, truly looking for the diamond in the rough. Well, you're not gonna find her with a profile picture like that. <laughs> that is kind of cool. He has um, a picture with, oh my gosh, what's his name from Jackass? Steve, Stevo. All right, nobody, sorry. Of another role. This is his profile picture. Number one, you can't see anyone's faces. Number two, if someone has a profile picture that is a group photo, no. There's either, there's only two possible situations why you would do that. Number one, it's because you're surrounding yourself with people less attractive than you to make yourself seem more attractive, which I can kind of understand the reasoning behind that, but you do not make that your profile picture. You can put that picture somewhere else in your pictures, but not your profile, because I do not have time to be figuring out which one you are, number one, and then, so the second scenario is they're the uglier one in the picture. It's like, why would you do that? So not only did I have to take the time to figure out which one you were, but you were the ugly one. Like that just doesn't, that, that one just makes no sense to me. So, all right, sorry, bye. Number 13, no profession, but it says army vet, Florida State grad, craft beer, working out, cooking and live music. Like that one is super cute, like with his mom. So, even though he doesn't have a profession listed, he does say he was he's an army vet. So, even though I don't like beer or working out, I like cooking and live music. So let's just say yes. Okay, and we were a match. So that is two out of I think that was thirteen. All right. So let's keep going. When I was doing my self-discovery and figuring out what I wanted in a man, I made a list of 10 qualities. Only two could be physical. My two physical ones are that they be my height or taller, which I have made exceptions to because I have dated shorter men in the past and as long as they don't have a problem with it, I really don't have a problem with it. I just prefer a man to be taller than me because like, I like to be able to like go on my tippy toes and put my arms around them and like not be like bending down, hovering, trying to hug them like that. But the second one is that they don't have large amounts of facial hair. So yeah, we're gonna pass. Okay, number 14, hello. University of South Florida, Rutgers. Life is all about decisions. You are at a crossroads right now. All you have to go on from this site is some pics, a nice smile and opportunity. Good luck in your choice. The true beginning of your life could be a right swipe away. Height, 6'4". Boom, oh, perfect. Hello. See, whenever I like find someone and I'm like, yeah, they're a good match, then they don't pick me. Let me, so let's say yes, say no, no match. <laughs> so let's, no, this is number 15, business owner at tourism. I'm looking for like-minded people who enjoy traveling and working hard at their goals. I often travel throughout South America and the US. I'm interested in going out for some drinks, coffee, or just to chat to get to know some friends. And honestly, I don't know what to put here. Just trying this site out to meet people in different locations I go for work and travel. Um, 
the facial hair again. And it's another ginger with facial, facial hair. What is going on? Oh, that might be better. Okay, I'm just gonna film with that off right now because I'm not doing makeup or anything. We don't need that bright ass light on. All right, so number 16. No occupation and no profile. Number 17. Loving life, good vibes, California and Florida are my favorite places to be. If you like my face, swipe right. Any Ask, ask me anything you like. All right, I'm gonna say yes. All right, let's say yes. Nope. All right, this is number 17. I'm not really into bestiality. If I was, I probably wouldn't go with dogs. I'd probably go with like sheep or something. Why am I gonna be dating you or your dog? Do you think we're gonna be like, oh, distracted by the cute dog and pick you? No. He's attractive, why didn't he just put that? His profile is, here's his picture. He's not, he actually looks like a nurse from that picture. I'm gonna say no, I'm sorry. Damn. PhD student studying a disease in dogs and math. Wait, what? PhD student studying a disease in dogs and math. That doesn't make sense. And picture's grainy. My camera is making the quality look better than it is. I'm looking at it in the viewfinder, I'm like, that looks like a fine picture, but then up close, no, you can definitely tell. All right, 19. Ooh, humanitarian at US government. Okay, adventurer, humanitarian, humanitarian, my life is outstanding. Okay, and you're cute. Why do they have to go and ruin it? Really? Really? Man, why? Like all the other ones are appropriate and he looks cute. Why would you put that in there? No, sorry. For Fortes, oh I thought it said Forbes. That's why, inboard connection. I don't know, it, telephone operator, is that what that means? Okay, lawyer, 31. Loves dogs, law, the patriots, tacos, and fall weather. I like all those things. Okay. And he's cute. Let's say yes. And we're not a match. Okay, so here. Number one, I would not be proud to put that picture as my profile picture if I was a man. And it's a group photo. So which one do you think he is? The one on the left on the outer corner in the middle. I'm gonna say the middle. Yep. I'm gonna say no, I'm sorry. Shit, I lost. Come again. Oh, here's another tip. In their description, or if you ask them what they're looking for, and any part of their answer has fun in it, almost run. He was already disqualified because of this picture. Not only is it a shirtless selfie, but if I'm not mistaken, that looks like a rest stop bathroom <laughs> or some sort of public bathroom. So, no. Facial hair, no, oh wait, that was, tw so this is 23. Group photo, let's see, stand-up comedian. Technology professional, investor. Okay, we have three of the similar Spotify artists. Music is very important to me, so. I know he's short though. He's, I mean, it's not stereotyping if it's like, kind of true, right? His name, I actually took a year of Japanese at uh, UF and hi is yes in Japanese. <laughs> All right, so no. Oh my God. 
Okay, so I went ahead and finished my 30. I actually went to 40 just because I was like, there really can't be only two out of 30. And out of 40, I did find three matches. But out of 30, there were two. And these are two potential matches. Now let me remind you that he had 16 potential matches. Two versus 16. It is definitely so much harder for women to date these days, especially since we are taking on more masculine traits and you know being in the the work field and more women have college degrees than men. We also then we try to keep the feminine sides of ourselves too, but it's hard because we'll go to work and be masculine and be like business oriented and then we come home and it's hard to switch back into that feminine mindset. As discouraging as it can be to have to start all over and get to someone, get to know someone again and then find out that you know you're not compatible. It it can be discouraging, but it's just the pray, you know, I'm willing to do that and to open my heart to find you know true love. I'm fine being on my own now and that's it is my choice to be single. Because none of the men I have dated I felt were right for me and I could have been with them. If you did like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bitch. Can you make a dip? Make a dip. Make a dip. Make a dip. Make a dip. Take a sip. Take a sip. Take a sip.